Hey there, and welcome to my 1972 VW van that is all electric. My goal for this channel is to document things that I find inspiring and that point to maybe a better future. And I thought, what better place to start than with this fully rebuilt, reused 72 van? So why go to the time and the expense of rescuing this poor old thing and then doing a full electric conversion on it? Why not just buy a Tesla or wait for the Ford Mac E or something like that? Simple. It's beautiful. This is one of the coolest designs in automotive history, in my opinion. I know these things are an acquired taste, but for me, the combination of style and functionality has always kind of blown my mind. But there's another reason. Here in the US, about 12 million cars a year get scrapped. And in Europe, it's a further 8 million a year that gets scrapped. We live in a society where for decades, we have just been throwing stuff away and moving on to the next thing. And this baby was headed in much the same direction. Suspension was shot, brakes were shot, engine was shot, had virtually no clutch at all, and no interior. You literally had to drive around with the springs from where the seat should be sticking straight up your bum. So step one was to remove that VW old flat four oily smelly engine and replace it with this. This is a motor by NetGain Motors called the Hyper 9. And it is mated to the original transmission through this aluminum adapter plate. You'll also see that it still retains the 12 volt system that powers the stereo, the lights, that kind of thing. But powering this little beauty is a Tesla battery pack. Now you'll also see back here coolant lines and right there a fan that continually runs fluid through the battery pack to keep it cool you have a 110 volt and a 220 volt level one level two charging system so in addition to being able to just plug in the wall at night you can also plug in at any uh, level two public charging station so this tesla battery pack what is it exactly it is a 37 kilowatt hour battery pack consisting of seven tesla model s batteries. Now, usually you would see them right here behind me. In a lot of these electric conversions, they put a big old battery box up high, blocking the loading area. So where's the battery pack on this van? Well, I'm sitting on it. Yeah, inspired by modern designs where the batteries are down in the chassis, low down between the axles, we did pretty much the same thing. What we did here is built uh, custom aluminum or aluminium battery boxes in which the Tesla batteries sit. Uh, as I mentioned, the fluid runs around there to keep everything cool. But then we encased it in a reclaimed teak floor that runs the whole length of the van. This teak were, actually is already Second Life teak. It was originally used in an old San Diego apartment, reclaimed and used for our project. So you have a useful loading area. You have beautiful teak floor. You even have cup holders for those days when you're chilling out, maybe after a surf at the beach. We added a full new interior, kind of colored like the sand of the beach with uh, fake leather on the doors, the dash and the seats. Down here, we put a new shifter on. The old one was like a big old stick in a bowl of porridge, but this gives a nice, precise feeling to gear shifts. We'll cover those when we take her out for a spin a little while. New, more modern steering wheel. The old one was definitely done for. And then here uh, in the dashboard is your electric electronic controller, which shows your range, your energy consumption, uh, amount of battery remaining, that sort of thing. Couldn't also resist putting a nice big Alpine screen in here with full Apple CarPlay, six speaker stereo system, and this big subwoofer between the seats. So she may not make a lot of noise as she's driving along, but the music makes up for it. So you still turn the key to start the van. Uh, you still have your regular light switch here and your hazard lights and your wipers. But here are three new switches um, this one here on the left is your regen switch. You can actually choose the level of regen you want from a lot to a little to nothing, depending on how you like to drive. And you can actually kind of choose the modes depending on what you're doing, which is kind of fun. I'll show you that later. Over here, you have your recharge switch, which tells you whether you want to do 110 charging, just plug in on the wall at night, or 220 charging, where you plug into a public charging station. Here you can switch regen on and off, just whether you uh, prefer it or not. And finally, uh, this is the switch that determines whether you're going forward, neutral, or reverse. 
You don't need to use reverse in the traditional sense at all. We replaced the old drums on the front with brand new disc brake setup and then put these beautiful Fuchs style chrome wheels on. And in the back, brand new brake shoes, pistons and drums. So you have a really solid e-brake too. So there you have it. That's the overview of the 72 electrified V-Dub. The really cool thing about driving this around is that people love it anyway, but when they find out it's electric, they're really inspired. And I think they see the beauty of e-mobility in a whole new way. Speaking of which, I'll make a second video just describing what it's like to drive a classic electric bus that was never intended to be electric. See you next time. And to give credit where credit is due, EV West supplied all of the electrical components of the kit and the real hard work and inspiration was done by John Fulps at EV SoCal. You can check him out at evsocal.com.